Man. I like how everything's knocked over and stuff. A new solution to the Medex. <gasps> oh, they got a bunch of the darts. And I might have a recipe. Or maybe not now. It's somewhere in the room. Those sneaky bitches at the patch and go raise the bolt price of Medex again. No way I can afford the doses needed to tranquilize the bolt thorns on the regular. You'd think they'd have their scams for the damn smooth skins. Thankfully, desperation is the mother of invention. After some testing, I discovered the correct dose of tarantula venom that will paralyze the animal with no long-term effects. Three weeks and 20 more tests with a modified trank gun, and I'm back in business. Oh, yeah. Dr. Deckard. Wow. Oh, okay. Ellen Schatz Terminal. All right, we got two terminals. Time to get to reading, nerds. Bullthorn presentation. With a dark, thick keratinous hide, the bullthorn is highly resistant to ball to all but high caliber ammo. Under the hide is a thick layer of adipose tissue, which protects the beast from the biting cold and absorbs significant impacts. A two-handed sledgehammer below, for example, would cause about the same injury as hitting a human with a roll of wrapping paper. Wow. Male tusks, which are derived from similar osteoblasts as incisors, serve as weapons and secondary sex characteristics. Huh. Females ain't got those tusks, but they got keratin horns, like rhinos. Alright, they're very aggressive. Get out of my face. Dr. Harrison Deckard. Project Warthog is now defunded. Dr. Deckard, from my understanding, you've had five years to bring Project Warhog to military standards as it stands. Project Warhog is a failure and shall be shut down within the weeks to come. Oh. Is that in the before days? I must be firm with my response. Project Warhog will be shut down and I will personally be overseeing the shutdown of the facility. At this point, the losses sustained are not justifiable to the Pentagon. Due to your resistance on October 29th, I will monitor the destruction of the specimens to ensure you're no longer wasting taxpayer dollars on this. Oh. I'm warning you, Deckard. Let this go. Then the world ended. Project Warthog survives. <laughs> by some strange miracle, my body has been transformed by the fallout instead of dying from acute radiation poisoning. I look like a corpse, but that's nothing a surgical mask can't hide. It also appears that the United States is no more and therefore cannot disrupt my work. What luck. This will be my last entry in this terminal as I no longer report to any power but my own limitations. No pesky FDA, CDC, or other alphabet tightwads to get in my way. I will perfect my creation, even if it takes the rest of my life. And some more. And then hopefully some maniac doesn't come in here looking for a suit and kills me. But, you know, that probably won't happen. Strange project. Don't let them do this. Oh, no. Military recruited me for my experience with cryogenic preservation, and now I know why. Package came to my lab containing a dozen tissue samples and a baffling note. Janet's face turned as white as her scrubs as she read it. Some grunts in Alaska found a creature preserved in some ice they blasted open during an exercise. Oh, they want me to create a clone. Robbie House had been doing some... Robbie House had been doing some strange stuff in his tower, but this is definitely a new frontier. Cryogenic research on dogs is one thing, but resurrecting a prehistoric creature? Wow, so I guess he did it. That's where they came from? Oh, that's awesome. New lab assistant from vault -Tec. Today, some smooth-talking a-hole from vault -Tec waltzed into my lab, escorted by the brass. He had this Jameson. grin that made me want to knock his teeth through his skull. This guy, Brandon Clayton, is my new lab assistant. Trucks. Why the hell does the government kiss vault -Tec's ass so much? I'm keeping an eye on this bastard. Evidence of Janet Swartz's harassment. Oh no, that bastard Janet came into my office. Oh, that bastard. <laughs> Period. That bastard. Janet came into my office today distraught. She caught Brandon going through her personal lab notebook. She's got pictures of dogs in there. When she confronted him, he told her... She would be using her big saggies, oh no, instead of her little brains, and that she was only working here because Shot wants to truck you. Jeez. Janet is half his age, mind you. I went to Anders, but he just blew it off as men being men. I told him next time I'll flatten the son of a bitch, keeping this as an evidence file. Dr. Alan Scott. Oh, good job, Scott. Don't let them do this. Oh no. I came in to find Janet crying and holding a box of her belongings. Apparently that shit Brandon warned Anders we were going to abort the fetuses, and they kicked us to the curb. I grabbed that Weasley trucker by his tie and asked him why. He chuckled and said, for the war effort. I answered with my fist. Good shot, too. He collapsed like a house of cards. So as my last act as head researcher, I'm leaving this note as a warning to whoever is my replacement. Don't let them do this. Jesus. Don't let them unleash these things on your fellow humans. Too well, 
They eventually did it, just in a different way. They didn't write about the damn suit, though. I'm kind of upset. Higher. To the tippy top. Oh. Have we been to this? Okay. Oh, no. Wait a minute. Let's see what this does. Okay. <laughs> Fraction of done. Yeah, yeah, okay. He died instantly, so it didn't really get to see any effects. He was obliterated. Where is this door? Entrance downstairs. Oh, yeah. Ooh, dog biscuits. Perfect. Man, they uh they were just chilling here this whole time. Making prehistoric dog creatures. Ooh, a dog biscuits bag. Sign me up. Alright, it seems we've... Oh, wait, 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 wait. No, this is a bathroom. I... Maybe... Did I misread where... I may have misread. Oh. Or, it is here, and I have missed it. Multiple times. Wouldn't be scientist outfit. It'd be like... It'd be that protective coding thing. Research terminal. Snow crystal research. Hmm. Alright. Talking about, uh, taking out DNA and stuff. Some damn miracle of molecular cloning. We knocked out all the damaged DNA. Ooh. Mothers are doing well. No undesirable consequences of invasive manipulation of the embryo. Stupid ass grunts. It's not a gompothere. Gompothere? It was an entelodont. Great. So I've just mixed elephant DNA with a warthog. Time to abort these abominations before they finish gestation. Janet wants to wait till tomorrow when we are fresh and the surrogates are calmer. Oh, okay. So that's when they uh, try to do it. And yeah, don't let them do this. Oh, damn. You tried. Oh my god, whiskey whiskey withdrawal. What is this? Oh, it's just one beaker. All right, I'm jumping down. Oh my god. Well, crap. <laughs> All right, I wanted to get back to this level. The ground level. I could not figure it out. Oh, we got, uh... Oh, yeah, we did not explore any of this. We went straight into... Oh, okay, radiation suit, maintenance request. Golly, it's right here. Also, uh, yeah, I'm saying golly a lot, everybody. Golly. Just eating a whole bunch of blood. Don't worry about it. Take a prophylactic so I don't have to crap. All right, we got a Siva suit. Siva, Siva. We did this all backwards. That's how I do things. Jim, there's a grinding noise coming from one of the barrel lifts, and the chain drive is sticking. I bet one of those damn gears is warped again. I know it took nine hours to get it operational last time, but hey, that's what the fancy suit is for, right? I mean, we designed the damn thing to let you practically go scuba diving in nuclear waste. So no worries about your balls glowing in the dark. Ho <laughs> ho, go get to it, Private. Your balls won't glow in the dark. That's great. Oh, I still got my cape on. Whoa! Your current armor covers both your body and your head. You may not be able to equip certain headgear. Oh, wow, this is awesome. 
<laughs> Very dead spacey. And I've got my beautiful mailbag with me as well. Yes. Very dead space looking. Very nice. I like... Alright, awesome. I am gonna... Put back my old stuff on, because I will be over encumbered otherwise. Alright, this goes up to the... Oh no, frontier. Jeez. This place really is big. Hey, Mr. Ghost Pants. Alright, you're gonna shoot radiation at us. Okay, see you later. Wait, I gotta check. Is there any notes in here? Oh my god, my entire body. Just checking for notes. Okay. Alright, you have a great day. Ugh. All right, I think we are good here. I mean, we got what we came for at least, so. All right, and I gotta get some more max, max charge cells for sure. Driving back in style. Driving back in style, oh yeah. <laughs> All right, you know what, let's uh put some stuff in the trunk. I think I'm... Do I have any fuel also? Nope. Alright, time to shove a bunch of stuff in here. Car doesn't talk back to me. Oh, there we go. That helps a lot. This gun was 26 pounds. <laughs> General Oliver, you get in there. Sheriff Sir Peter, yeah, you go in there. And... I'll keep you. The hug biscuits have worn off. And the inti wow, that was a bag I ate. Jeez. All right, here we go. Oh, over encumbered. Never mind. Six pounds. Oh, all of my. Uh... All right. Hot plate. Oh, old boot. I can't drop that. It's very important. All right, I'll drop my fireworks gun until we come back out. Oh, oh my god. The walls are alive. My, uh, oh, it was, it was on. Jeez. Showtime. Holy crap, I am still getting irradiated, my god, okay. This is an extreme area. God dang it. I don't know. I, don't, I, I can't see it. <laughs> Alright. Oh, man. Oh, oh. Laundry room key. Oh, power? Nope. Hello? Here we go again. Oh! You guys are great at seeing slime. Me, not so much. Hey, wait! Oh, yep. Very good. <laughs> I cannot see those things. I'm getting better, maybe. Skeleton, I thought you were a person. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, you guys got one over there. Gotcha. Jeez. Damn. Oh, oh. Nicely done. You did good. Thank you. America, that was a nice duck there. I saw that, America. Very impressive. Okay, shut up, game. Wow, Big Papa was here. Big Papa. Ugh. Oh, it's not Gushers. Oh, it's not Gushers. This, this will be my office. Yes. I'll look out into the city after we clean the windows. Got in the laundry. 
right, there's a key card here somewhere, I think. So I think the key card that's in the little uh, liquor shelf is in here. All right. In here, this is nothing. Actually, yeah, we didn't check the slime. Hmm. I don't know if there was like an explosion. Key card went flying, or if I am just missing, missing something. Twelve point seven millimeter revolver, survivalist mask. Hmm. Where are your secrets? All right, so we had to get a key to get in the laundry room. So like. Oh, Mama Dukes. All right, I do not know. Let me know. Yell at me in the comments. I probably looked at the key card 15 times. 15 times! Where's the key card, Johnson? Where is it? All right, one more damn time. Going in here, I'm gonna throw these weird, stretchy suits on the ground. Oh, scrub, scrub, scrubs. Taking a bath here. Well, at least I got to uh, dress up like a badass and drop my smigarettes on the ground. All right, let's uh, go test out the the Jericho cannon on some rad roaches, I guess. Take care of your vehicles; they will explode. My God, flying roaches! So this should be enough ammo, but this is a test run, so. Oh, shut up, game. I was running before with this. Oh, God. Oh, God. So, uh, America, where are they? This is it. The good old snowball target. I've gotten darn good, too. A bunch of those broken windows are courtesy of my killer fastball. Oh. Let's scoop up some snow and get our arsenal together. Why am I getting snow? Here you go. Let's get to it. <laughs> Wait, my. Th oh, I throw rocks. I mean, I throw snowballs at the window and rat roaches come out? Is that what's going on? Wait a minute. Just give me a second here. I got a right, main weapon. Snowball time. <laughs> yeah. Whoa, wait a minute. Wait, you can't kill them all. Oh, you you murdered them super quick. All right, let's see. Oh, no. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Ha <laughs> ha maybe uh, stop doing it. There's too many roaches now. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, God. What happened? I've been thrown out of my body. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Get back here. Well, well, well. Look what we got here. Oh, boy. How did, how did I know that at the end of this trail we'd find you, Brotherhood Dip Jameson? Raven Rock Adams Air Force Base and now Archimedes too. Swear to God, if it smells like Jameson, it's usually Brotherhood. How'd you find us? We were just throwing snowballs. Well, one of our lost iBots reactivated and started sending out radio signals, so our unit was dispatched for recovery. Then suddenly it went dark, and then a little later, Archimedes too sends out a distress signal and goes dark as well. Naturally, we followed the iBot's last known coordinates, helping, hoping to find the culprit. Both going down so close together was way too much of a coincidence. And lo and behold, we found a skyscraper crawling with Brotherhood. Nice cross, by the way. What happened? You dickheads find Robot Jesus? <laughs> Robot Jesus. We are the Crusaders now, not the Brotherhood. We are different. You could call yourselves the parking lot princesses of pink invisible unicorns for all I care. Yeah, that's a good one. Time to make an example out of you and your commie girlfriend. We're not dating, you weirdo. 
We don't want any trouble, mister. Please, take my gum. Do you really think that you and your squad of less than ten soldiers can take on a whole tower full of people with advanced weaponry and power armors? Fine. Then prepare to die. Hmm. Yeah, come, come fight another day, Ainsworth. Fight another day. Well, maybe not. But we can still take on you, specifically. You are aware that if you kill me, all those people in the tower will come after you for revenge. Fine then, prepare to die. That's funny, I was just about to tell you the same thing. Kill them all. Big ass gun. There. Oh, wow. Well, oh, we got him, we got him. <laughs> oh boy, we got stuff. Yeah, probably. Farewell. Oh, I somehow survived. Yeah. Hell yeah. Oh, wait, 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 straggler? Oh, you were just coming to help. Oh, that's super nice of you. Oh my god. He's dancing even in death. Wait, where's uh where's the big boss? Where'd big boss go? Plasma caster defender grenade. Enclave cosmic Tesla armor. Hmm. Alright, well. Donovan getting some cool ass armor. Just don't drink. Yeah. It's Master Chief. You want a helmet, America? Probably not. Is this better, actually? I didn't even check. Higher jump. Ooh, higher jump. Well, I'm going to take this for myself. And a typhoon? What the hell is this? I didn't even see their guns. They were getting murdered. Oh, nice. Oh, I remember this. This this, this is a good gun. I don't, I don't like it, but it's, it is a good gun, I remember. Oh, God, I need my whiskey. And just to try it. Oh, wait. Over encumbered so I can't jump. <laughs> Never mind. Oh, cut down shotgun I never looked at. Got a little boomstick. All right, yeah, I probably should uh, tell everyone about what happened out here. Just hanging out, shooting my guns. Man, I have got to repair Hermes. Hermes is about to explode, jeez. Yeah, I got Enclave Power Armor in the uh, back of my truck, whatever. I mean my car, it's not a truck. We got an emergency, Molly, I'm sorry. Hey, newbie, what can I do for you? There's a problem. Jericho worked amazing, a bit heavy on ammo use, but it hits like the fist of an angry god. I'm not surprised. I make top-notch gear. So since you did most of the work, how about you keep the first Jericho? Which brings us to our next task. While you've been giving her a test run, I sent scouts to look for a source for more parts, and they got back to me about an old Corvega factory. Apparently, a group of wasteland assholes are using it as a home base. Thieves, rapists, and other shitbags hiding from the law. I don't care about them. No sweat off my ass if you waste the bastards. But what I'm interested in is the parts inventory. Find it, loot it, and bring the haul back here. Though, before you head out, we finally got that elevator in the lab working, and I'm right curious about what's down there. Care to come with me? No thanks, sure. I am a bit curious myself. Oh, nice. Awesome! Don't tell Charlene, but I was a bit scared to go down there alone. But man, holy sh- Jameis. I excited. Head down and I'll meet you there. Oh, right. Before we go, since you've been such a help, I think you should have a place to crash around here. This key is to Forsyth's old office. Before you ask, we don't really like to talk about that asshole. Long story short, he got kicked off the round table, so his office is now yours. Enough about that piece of sh Jameson. <laughs> Let's see what is in that vault, shall we? Awesome. Hell yeah. I don't want to set the world on fire. That's not what the song sounds like. Wait, are you going to sleep? Wait, no. We were going to check out? Okay. Into the depths. Into the darkness. What's going in the basement? 